Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you guys five products that really change the look of your face and also how you look throughout the day. And also these are very easy products to touch up and they will completely refresh your face and make it look like you just put on new makeup but you didn't and it will also just really sculpt your face and just give it dimensions that it doesn't have on its own. So that's really what the magic of makeup is and I think that it's so cool. So let's get into how to sculpt and completely shape your face and also just make it look fresh and new. Okay, so one of the very obvious ways is to add a lip color. Without a lip color, you kind of look dead almost. So if you have very naturally pigmented lips like I do, um, then this isn't as essential, but I muted mine out with some foundation today when I was putting on my makeup. So lipstick and lip gloss go hand in hand. That's why I'm only counting it as one. So this is, oh, these are both my necks. I did not plan on that. So I would go for like a brighter lip color, especially now that we are into the springtime. So this is Spellbound by NYX. So I'm just going to tap this onto my lips. Out in the rain, just trying to find something to get. If I look hard enough, I'll find it. You think and blend it out with my finger. And remember, just because it's bright in the bullet or on the little swatch doesn't mean that it has to be bright on your lips. Okay, and then over top of that, always add some gloss. It really does add a lot of dimension to your lips and to the lip color itself. So this is Juicy Heart. Yeah, no, Juicy Pink. Another big tip is to add color back into your face and you can do that two ways by blush and by bronzer. So I'm going to be using both in this because I use both of these every day. Every, I was going to say every single day but I didn't say single so that's why I was like every day. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm first going to begin with bronzer and this is Hula Bronzer by Benefit. It comes with this little brush so if you want to have like a very distinct contoured line, what I would do is take this brush, I did this one time, you guys can see that that's why it's like that, and then just go right where you want it and then blend it out with the brush and that will give you a very distinct line. Um, I do that, I did that um, once or twice but I just like using a 109 brush by MAC which is just a little brush like this that is dome shaped but it it's pretty dense, so it's a good brush for contouring. It's probably my favorite. So what I'm going to do is, this is so pigmented, so you seriously need to tap your brush in it maybe two times and you get all that product. And then tap off the excessor. It normally isn't that much, so you should have about that much product on your brush. And what you want to do is adding bronzer to your face will make it look more chiseled and contoured. So you want to suck in, mm -hmm, and then you will find your natural cheek hollows. And then after that, we're just going to, I just kind of like to turn mine onto the side a little bit so I don't get like all the product right in that one spot when I first start off. And make sure I have a very light hand. So I'm turning it to the side, going back and forth like that, kind of tilting it onto the side so it's not like directly on like that. It's kind of on an angle. And blend it back. And then after that, I don't like to blend it down because then I feel like it just looks like mud from here down. So what I like to do is just blend it up onto the sides of my temples and that will also slim down right here. I have a very round face so slimming it down is something that I really do like to do. And hair is in the way. You just work on blending this out and you can really tell what a difference this makes and it really just like gives your face a lot of dimensions that it naturally does not have. So bronzer just adds a little bit of color to your face as well as a natural tan. So I never skip out on bronzer anymore. I used to like never do it because I thought that it would look too fake. But if you know how to do it correctly, it looks so natural. One of the biggest things that everyone's always going to tell you is you need blush so that you don't look like a zombie. So I love the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Stereo Rose. Now this one was discontinued, but you can find very similar dupes to these at Sally's Beauty Supply or Target or CVS. Um, for Milani baked blushes are very similar to this. They have like the mineralized effect. So I really like this one because it has a highlighting aspect to it as well. So it will really raise up my cheekbones. So what I'm going to do is just swipe my brush in this a couple of times. Tap off the excess. What I'm going to do is smallify my apples and then I'm just going to kind of like pat it on like that. So smile and pat and then I kind of work it back to my temples a little bit. Side. Yeah, you've got me. And you can really 
really tell what a difference that just made. Like number one, it lifted up my face a lot more. I have color back into it, a healthy color, and it just, it seriously makes a big difference. That would so. be eyebrows. And everyone always tells you eyebrows frame your face, and it really does. So I use the MAC Dirty Blonde Impeccable Brow Pencil. I've never actually said the real name of it. I would say the MAC Brow Pencil. And I just get the kind that will match my eyebrows and not my hair color. I know that's wrong, and I shouldn't do that. But honestly, I just think it looks more natural if you match with your eyebrow color. So all that I'm going to do is fill in my eyebrows, and I begin um, towards the back of them, like this. And I use very, very light strokes. I don't add anything, I just fill them in. And now I move into the front of my eyebrow, but can you tell how much of a difference that made? Um, you don't want to do the front first because you don't want it to be too dark. You always want the front to be a little bit lighter than the back. And I have this awkward bald spot right there. And I'm holding it towards the end of the product so that I have very light strokes. So can you guys tell a difference? Isn't that crazy? And now I'm just going to go in and set it. Oh, it just makes such a difference. And this is just the Essence Lash and Brow Gel. I don't believe in spending big money on brow gel. I think that's a waste of money. So now I'm just going to do the same to this eyebrow starting at the back. I know you miss me. I see it show. What do we do now? Is this the end? Are we still gonna be? And finally, the last tip that I have for you guys to completely lift up your face and just make it look different and change your face is to add mascara to your lower lashes. For a really long time, I did not like this step. I thought that it just looked really bad on me and almost cheesy, but since I started doing it, it really does make your eye look a lot more open and awake. So I just used the Clinique Bottom Lash Mascara because it's a little baby one, can you guys tell? What a difference that made just on my eyes, like on how much more open they look. I loved you so. so, those are just some ways that you can change the shape of your face, lift your face, brighten your face, add life to your face, open up your eyes. I don't know, just basically the magic of makeup and what it can really do. So, I hope you guys all enjoyed this video, and I'll talk to you in my next one. Bye. Today, 13th October.